So this question talks about a cylinder and it mentions the idea that we're talking about something having the same volume and it's given us some uh, details that the radius of the large tin was 6.5 and the height was 7.5. It's talking about volume, it's talking about a cylinder, so we should remember the formula for a cylinder. So the volume of um, a cylinder, well a cylinder is a special prism and the formula at the front of the exam paper tells us to take the area of cross section, which in this case is the circle, and times it by the length of the shape, which in this case is 11.5. So the volume of the cylinder is going to be the area of the circle, which is pi r squared, times the uh, height of the cylinder, the length of the cylinder. Um, that's the same as the idea of a prism. So the large um, 10, the volume is going to be equal to pi times 6.5 squared times 11.5. So 6.5 squared times by pi times by 11.5 equals, again as always, write the full answer down, but it's not our final answer, so we're not rounding yet. Um, so that's in cubic centimetres, because we're talking about three dimensions volume. So that's the volume of the large tin, and they're telling us that the new tin will have the same volume. So the formula of the new tin is still going to be the same idea. The volume of the, is the area of the circle times the height of it. Um, they've told us the volume is going to be the same, so 1526.421331 must equal pi times, well the new tin has to have a radius of 5.8, so we're going to times by 5.8 and then we're going to size by the height. Uh, we don't know the height because that's what the question actually wants. So the trick for this was find the height of the new tin. Um, this is a case of rearranging this to make it h equals. So rearranging is the classic way of uh, moving things by doing the opposite operations. So this is pi times 5.8 times by h. So these can all move across by dividing by pi times 5.8. So h is going to equal 1526.421331 divided by pi times 5.8. Now, most calculators, you can just type that in as you see it. Um, if you want to be safe, then always put a, a bracket around the bottom part. Now, I left the uh, number in for the volume of the large tin, uh, same stuff at a time. Um, so now I can just divide by bracket um, pi times 5.8, close the bracket, equals. So that gives us an answer of 83.7. Um, that's because I've uh, realised that's nowhere near right. It's because it says pi r squared, and you need to be square in the 5.8. So we divide by 5.8 squared there. So if I just divide by another 5.8, then that gives the correct answer of 14.443. And we recognise the question wanted one decimal place, so we wanted one decimal place for our answer, and therefore we can take this number, one decimal place means one digit after decimal point, the 4 there does not change the 4 there, it's not 5 or more, so the final answer here will be 14.4 centimetres. Now of course we should check that that works, so the volume of the cylinder is given by pi r squared times h, so pi times 5.8 squared times 14.4 should give us an answer very close to that, that's what we're checking. So let's go through. Um, so pi times 5.8 squared times by 14.4 equals um, 1521.8. The check works, it's close enough. Close enough because I rounded the answer to one decimal place. So again, learning formulas, volume of a cylinder is a prism, so cross section area was a circle times the height of the shape. Um, put your numbers in, find out the volume, recognise the key information tells us the new tin has the same volume, write the formula, put in the numbers you know, rearrange it, remembering that it was r squared, uh, do the sums, get the answer, round because the question says to do one decimal place. So that's an example of how to work with the volume of a cylinder.